What's up? This will be a five minute sound tutorial. Very easy, very simple. This is the script I'm gonna be going off. I know there's a lot of stuff, but I'll just, I'll just quickly explain all of this, right? So what I have right now in the workspace is I just have a sound, right? Now you can have whatever sound you want in here and I'll show you in a bit how to actually add your own sound. So I have a sound, inside I have a script, which you can add, you can just have an empty script. I've added a thing called a sound group and I believe that is everything. Yes. So the way you actually add your sounds is you click on sound, scroll a bit here, and in the sound ID, I believe you can go to view, you can go to toolbox, you can go to audio, and just like look for, you know, like whatever, whatever song you want. And then you just right click, copy asset ID, and then paste that into here, and this sound will play whatever you want here. So the simple tutorial is that sounds can be Played. So the sound is script.parent. So script.parent. So this sound is equal to this. So play will play whatever sound ID this sound contains. Pause pauses it. Resume resumes it, obviously. And sound stop just completely stops it and sends it back to the beginning. Uh, dot loaded and dot loaded wait and is loaded. When a sound is actually like loading into the game so let's say if i start the game right now the sound needs a while to load it needs a while to actually download this information because we don't have the actual file like the mp3 uh sound file in here all it's doing is it's saying okay go to the roblox server look for this link and then download whatever music is associated with this link meaning that sometimes if the game just begins and you want to play the sound well that might not work because we don't have the sound yet so this is where dot loaded and is loaded come in sound dot loaded wait simply just halts the code until the sound is loaded so i recommend using this for most of the time but if you need something specific to do just do sound dot loaded connect function and it gives you the sound id here and then you can just do whatever you want when the sound is loaded and print sound is loaded, sound is loaded, simply prints true if it is, and false if it isn't. These are four main parameters of sounds, which you can also find here. So these can be changed here as well, or they can be changed in scripts. By default, a sound volume is 0 0.5. The playback speed is 1, so 1 is just the normal playback speed. So setting it to 2 would make it twice as fast, setting it to 0 0.5 would make it half as fast. Sound.loop is pretty obvious. It just loops to the beginning, so it plays constantly forever. And time position is the amount of seconds where the song starts. So for example, like this sound I have here, it is 211 seconds. And the time position is zero. So when I play it, it would start at zero seconds. But if I wanted to start it at like 50 seconds, then I would just do this. And I can just make the time position 50 seconds. So then it's gonna start at 50 seconds. But of course, I'll keep it at zero because I want my song to start at the beginning. Sound groups are a way to group your sounds. And let me actually explain what that means. Every sound has these modifiers that you can do. So if I add, let's say, this distortion to my sound and it's enabled, it has a pretty good level. When I play the sound, it's going to sound distorted, but I don't want that. So I'll, I'll remove that. And then this will give it a chorus effect. You, this lets you change the pitch. This gives it some reverb. This gives it echo. And this just lets you equalize it. So make it sound muffled or not muffled and, and so on. Uh, I don't want to explain all of these because I feel like, you know, you could just... I, I really don't know how to explain what a chorus is, for example. So yeah, you know, just try these out. See how they make your sound sound more different. But then what if, let's say, I had 10 different sounds and I wanted all of them to be distorted but i didn't want uh, the distortion to like be on all of them because what if there's a moment where i need to turn off distortion for every single sound well then what do i have to go through every sound and like like on the script just be like okay sound one distortion equals false sound two distort like you know that's that's a lot of work what you do instead is you have a sound group with the distortion <laughs> So you don't put the distortion inside the sound itself. You put it inside the sound group. And then in sound, 
there should be a thing called sound group. Yes. So you click here, then it should, your cursor should look like this. You click on the sound group. And now what this does is that this sound is connected to the sound group, which you can also actually um, connect it via script. So sound.soundgroup equals sound group, which is defined here, workspace.soundgroup, which is this. So in this script, the sound group variable is this. So we're saying, okay, this sounds sound group is this sound group. And if you want to remove the sound group, just make it equal to nil. So what a sound group does is it takes its volume. So I set it to 0 0.1, but typically it should be at one. So for volume, it takes whatever volume the sound group has and multiplies it by volume of the sound. So meaning that if it's one, the volume should sound the same. But then if I set the sound group volume to two, it's going to be two times 0 0.5, which will make the volume of this sound one or twice as loud. So normally you want to keep it at one unless you want the volume to change for every single sound that's inside the sound group. And distortion will apply to every single sound in the sound group. So if I, let's say, like wanted to disable the distortion, it would disable distortion for every sound that's in the sound group. And again, also, please do note that actually like putting the sound inside the sound group it's not going to do anything. So you want to keep it, you know, in an, in, in the workspace uh, or in sound service. I just like the workspace better because if it's in sound service, server scripts cannot actually uh, play the sound. They can only play, uh, server scripts can only play a sound if it's inside the workspace. So I just like maybe like, maybe like have a folder for every sound or something like that. So yeah, that's the basic sound tutorial. Just, to add a sound or sound group, just do sound, and then it's here, or a sound group is here, and you have all these effects. And there's a bunch more effects. You have like uh, tremolo, you have flanger, compressor. So all of these, you can you know read the descriptions, you know uh, try them out on your sound, see what they do. And I mean, yeah, that's the tutorial. You know, thank you for watching. Um, let me see if there's. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, this, oh yeah, one more thing. Roll off max distance and min distance. All this means is that um, one number is equal to a stud. So a stud is this cube in Roblox. So one of these cubes is equal to one stud. So this would be equal to 10 of these cubes. A roll off minimum distance means that while you're within 10 studs of the sound, you're going to hear it at full volume. But then when you get beyond these 10 studs, when you go to 11 or 12, the sound begins slowly and slowly getting quieter and quieter until you reach the max distance, which is 10,000. And so at, when you're 10,000 studs away from the sound, you will just not hear it at all. And you can change the mode. So all of these are yeah inverse, inverse tapered, linear, linear square. Play around with them. I believe uh, one of these makes it so that the sound gets closer and closer as you move away from it. Again, I think so. That might not be true. But again, you know, go check it out. If you want the sound to just play the moment it's loaded without using scripts, you can go here and do playing. So when you enable playing, the moment the sound loads, it's going to play. Looped is going to make it loop. And play on remove is that when the sound is just destroyed, gone from the game, then it's gonna play. Um, and yeah, like I like I said, that's basically everything. Thank you so much for watching. Um, bite blocks. <laughs> you know, make sure to subscribe for more epic, awesome tutorials like these ones. Sorry, I cannot play the sound because my audio drivers refuse to update. Thank you for watching.